Welcome everyone to another edition of Star Trek Online Tips and Tricks by Esper. I am your host Esper and I've decided because today is the first day of the new summer event for 2019. So I'm going to host a series of videos released probably over the next week uh, of many different things dealing with the summer event. So today we're just going to do the basic uh, getting into zone uh, pulling up the, uh, the store and uh, some just some uh, quick things and I'll go over the different events in different videos because there's just too much to do in one video so I'm gonna pull up a character who has never done the summer event uh, most of my characters have I have a couple that haven't so I need to get them into the zone and get them uh, with the store so I'm gonna start off with this one my new discoveries all right and actually I have her right outside of Risa so first thing you do uh, there's many ways of getting here uh, you can open up your map you can uh, just click here and go another option is if you click your hell uh, oh they don't have it normally they have right here on the calendar they'll have the event going on where you can just click it and do a straight trans warp here for free uh, that's not available so I'm glad I'm already here but uh, if you do the free one it'll uh, actually take you straight into the zone and once you arrive you'll be pushing other ships out of the way because everybody's trying to get here uh, you can't do anything right now you actually have to go forward a little bit towards the planet Until you get prompted for the beaming down. Uh, the classic beach I do not think is available for KDF aligned characters uh, unless they've changed things. Uh, so this is a Federation captain so you got classic beach and the summer resort. You always want to do the summer resort. This is available year round so it doesn't matter. Uh, I accidentally beamed this character down earlier in the week. Oh good are already going on all right so this is your normal welcome if you're this is the first time you've ever been here uh, they're hosting this festival arrived at the perfect time of course we have uh, of course every day is a perfect day on Risa this is the event coordinator uh, all right this is the first time I have been here technically so I uh, have a lot of things I need to do but First thing is open up your reputations under the events and unlock the summer event prize vendor. So I will do that and then you need to come over to the event coordinator who is over here. Talk to her. Welcome to Risa. And she will give you one favor. That one. Now open up the store and you can fill in that one favor. Now the store is unlocked. Uh, down here, actually, probably should have shown this first. Uh, this character actually, I uh, did the winter event, but if you have, uh, these are per captain unlocks. These are not account unlocks. These are per captain so you have to do this on every single captain in order to get these so I just unlocked the summer event uh, and here's the store everything available there's a lot of items uh, I actually had come here earlier to purchase some things with uh, the favors uh, I have 145 favors left uh, but I had to purchase a floater and because this account actually has it before I actually have the uh, the elite future flyer this is also available from the Phoenix lockbox if you do not have if you weren't uh, in game when they gave this away a couple of years ago uh, you can actually uh, get it there for free and this is one of the elites so this is uh, not the top end but it's the next top 
uh, the top end is actually the impulsive uh, floater. Or, excuse me, the impulse, uh, impulsive uh, power board. This one is uh, the, the Mini Elite, uh, which is plenty good enough. It uh, gives you plenty of speed, plenty of turn rate. I'll go over, actually, the floaters and the boards here in just a quick moment. I had already purchased a, uh, a ricin beverage or food item, and I have a triple here. I'm wanting to create the ricin triple. There are three, actually, now. Uh, matter of fact, I want to go to the store again, because supposedly there is new... Uh, okay, the the uncommon food items will do the first triple. The rare items will create the one that was released two years ago. And then the, these that are new should be, which are also rares, will give the new triple. So actually, I want a new triple. And actually, I will delete that one so it doesn't accidentally. And now we wait. Okay, uh, and this character actually is going to be the one that I'm going to be doing the daily prize, and I'm going to go over the daily prize, because this is probably the, the number one thing that people are wanting, so I'm going to go ahead and select that, go ahead and get it slotted. Uh, that way, even if I don't complete it this year, I can complete it next year on this same character, as long as I don't delete the event. All right, and the event you want to do is also got uh, from her is flying high. I'm not. I'll go ahead and choose it. We've seen the floaters in the sky. We've set up some holographic challenges to test your agility. Once you're strapped in, take off. Keep an eye out for our holographic rings. Fly through the various rings and courses, and you'll earn approval on lookers and hopefully impress the judges. Uh, you'll earn a higher score by completing various sets of rings. So let's see a group of rings around landmarks or buildings. Try to get through all of them. Uh, and you will receive 40 of the low, uh, I can never pronounce this, Loholat prize voucher for 2019. Anything you had previous, 2018, 2017, I think 2016 did not have these. We had pearls instead. Uh, but then they changed to, to yearlies. So anything previous to 2019 is now no longer good but you can use 2019 in 2018 in any previous projects so if you have last year's ship but you didn't manage to get it because of various reasons you can now use these vouchers to complete that project so I'll go ahead and accept it all right and here's the mission flying high activate a floater rent or buy one from the floater vendor Floater vendor is right here I've already purchased one, so I probably should have waited, but I was impatient. There is a rental available for 1,000 EC. This is the lowest of the low, and will disappear after, I think, 15 minutes. So you would have to cost it literally a rental. After the 15 minutes, it disappears. So if you're in the middle, uh, up in the sky, in the middle, then it goes away, that's it. It'll come crashing down. Actually, I think uh, it... Once you deactivate it after the 15 minutes is when it de uh, when it gets repossessed. Uh, all others require the favors. Right here are the favors. Uh, you can get these through various events, which will all be se uh, selected up here. The summer event it will show the Horta Hunt, which I as I beamed into zone it was starting, which is unfortunate. This is the big one, honestly, because you can do the Horde Hunt on one captain in about three minutes with one of the, the impulsive or the uh, superior floaters. You can complete it in about three, three and a half minutes. So, and this is for 15 minutes total. So technically you can run four to five captains getting approximately a hundred favors per run. So that's the best way of earning the favors is through the Horta Hunt. Uh, all the other things are single, uh, single time, so you can't run more than one character at a time. The Biathlon uh, requires both a floater and a power board. It starts off with a power board race and then changes over to a floater. If you click the floater too early, it will 
uh, disqualify you. But I'll go through all I'll go through all of these in separate videos. We have the Horda Hunt, the Biathlon, Artifact Scavenger Hunt, uh, which is uh, finding uh, different artifacts. I'll go over that one in a separate video because that one is probably the hardest uh, for new people. Once you learn it, it's pretty easy. The Power Board Race is just that. Uh, it's just a race. Uh, that was the first year that they uh, had Power Boards. They did that one. And the Biathlon again. Uh, and then... I think, and then the cycle. I think it's a 90 minute cycle for these. Uh, I can't remember what comes after the Horde Hunt. Or right before the Horde Hunt, excuse me. Oh well, we'll get to it later. Anyway, so my triple, but floaters. Alright, you got your standard floaters for 50 favors have a flight speed of 30 and just standard maneuvering. Uh, what I recommend is once you get a couple of favors is to go ahead and get a standard until you can save up enough favors to get one of the better loaders. That way uh, that way you don't have to keep spending out a thousand for a f uh, rental that keeps going away. And any of these are good to do the, uh, the first mission, but that's just a... Uh, I do not recommend getting an enhanced one at all. Uh, it doesn't... For, for the favors, especially if you're going to be doing the races, uh, the biathlon especially, it's like it doesn't make sense to get the enhanced. It really doesn't. Uh, the standard is good until you get enough favors to get up to and these are all colors just various colors so you can get up to these the superior good. all right the enhanced had a plus 40 flight speed so plus 10 flight speed over the basics superior has plus 50 and superior flight maneuverability this is why I say wait because that superior flight maneuverability helps a lot Otherwise, you're all over the place. Uh, you, you can watch people here in the background, how they're moving around. He has a superior, so it's actually a much better product, actually. And then the newer ones, uh, related last year, are the Impulsive. Plus 70 flight speed. Uh, it says superior flight maneuverability, but my experience is it's more chaotic. Uh, it's not as good in handling as the superior one, in my opinion. It is faster, yes, in the straightaways. But the superior, even though they both say superior flight uh, maneuverability, in my experience, it's harder to control the impulses. I went ahead and bought one on this character because they're the same price, 1,000 uh, favors. And honestly, to get 1,000 favors, if you do everything, uh, and, for example, in the races, if you just place in the races, which I think is 15 favors, uh, the Horda Hunt, like I said, is a proc it varies because there's uh, 10 Hordas you have to pick up, and you can get anywhere from 2 to 5 favors for each. And there's 10 total, and then you get, I think, 75 for completing the mission in time. Uh, so it could be, uh, that's a scaling. The Biathlon, just placing, I think, is 15. 15 favors, and then first, second, and third place, I think first place is 75, 50 for second, and 25 for third. The artifact hunt, uh, which can be done uh, even when it's not running. Uh, I think you can do this one every 15 minutes. Uh, I think it's 20 favors. But if you turn it in during the event, it's an additional 50 on top of that. Powerboard race is the same as the biathlon. Uh, so, and then, the, oh, the dance. That's the big one. Uh, there's a dance, uh, probably right after this biathlon. Uh, I don't know why I forgot that one. That's a big one. Uh, you get, actually, for doing all the dances, you can get up to 100 uh, favors. Uh, so that's a good one. It doesn't require you to have a board or a floater. So that's a good way of just doing 
something to get uh, favor. That'll that hundred favors will get you a standard floater and a standard board. Like I said, if you have a uh, uh, Phoenix uh, pack, you can actually get this one, or I think it's a, a rare. So it's a, and actually it's worth it because uh, they have impulsive, which is uh, one or actually technically two above. Like I said, I'll go over that one in a minute. So that's the, the first part is definitely need a floater. Power board is optional only really if you're going to do the races, but you ha almost have to have a floater. It helps getting around. This guy here has actually the basic one. But I have it, and you do not have to, to equip it on your captain. Just being in your inventory is good enough. And then you can uh, come here and you can actually scroll down to see the floater and you can put it on your power bar. So I've got both the board and the floater here. and they're in my inventory, so I don't have to have it on my captain. Now, uh, another quick thing. I already have an outfit for her, so I'm going to go ahead and put her in her bikini, because I can. Uh, this is an, another things that are require favors. Matter of fact, if you come over here, we have a tailor over here, and a vendor here. Now, all of this stuff is available in the store that you unlock. Uh, if you don't want to do the, the race every day and you have enough uh, low buy, then you can buy this pack for five low buy and get a random amount of prize vouchers. Uh, from what I have seen with other people, it still takes approximately 900 to get enough, unless you just happen to get really lucky. It takes approximately 900 low buy to get the ship. And so you can unlock it early if you want to. Uh, I don't nearly have nearly that much low buy, and there's more than enough time right now to where I can take my time and actually do the event. Uh, but here's your summer event. Emotes. Uh, they just started these emotes last year. These are the new ones. Uh, your food items to create your tribble. Costumes. Uh, you can right click on these just like any other. The Rice and Explore outfits were the very first ones they released when they first did it. It made no sense. Here we're having a beach and there was no bikinis or bathing suits. It's like that didn't make sense. But they did what they did. Uh, then we have shirts. These are Hawaiian style shirts for men. Make sure if you have a female character, you buy the one for females. If you have a male character, you buy the one for males. I've made that mistake. Just, oh, sure, click. Oh, wait a minute. That was my male captain. Or that was a female captain. I bought the male version. There are various uh, different types. These are all 600 favors. Uh, baseball uniforms, which they released last year for all the different teams. These are also 600. Uh, let's see. Or baseball uniforms uh, ground equipment and other people do these uh, so I will not actually go over these but uh, here's where you can buy the ground equipment uh, a thousand favors uh, these are the bridge officer training manuals for uh, the same items you get it in mark 1 mark 2 mark 3 or 3 5 and 700 favors uh, of course the kit modules are a thousand each for your captain Uh, some of these are really good. Uh, some of them are just flashy. Oh, Starship uh, equipment. These are the new ones. Uh, these are more or less pets. Uh, building a sandcastle just does that. It just builds a sandcastle and then it collapses about 30 seconds later. Uh, the the Horia. Uh, it just creates one of the little hordas, it beams in, beams out. Uh, the Ryson uh, Lunarian uh, Caracal. These are hybrid cat-like creatures. They're really cute. Uh, ones? Yes. Uh, purple. Or holographic green and red and white. And, oh, 
something new, a baseball. Toss this ball to the target player. Oh, that's like a triple. Interesting. Uh, the rice and tropical bird eggs. These are highly, highly coveted. Uh, you can only get these during the horde hunt. And they're random. But you can purchase one, uh, one per day. Uh, I will go over this in a separate video. But you can actually purchase it here for 150 favors. Uh, next is uh, gold, plate, gold pressed latinum items. Uh, you can change uh, one favor for 200 latinum. Why would you do that? You can get latinum for plain Dabo. Uh, subspace party amplifiers. People are popping these things all the time and make everyone dance. The nullifier, if you have it in your inventory. And do I? I do not. I do now. I just need one. And I will protect it. That does literally what it says. When someone pops one of these, you don't dance. So, if you don't dance, then these are the one item you can keep in your inventory. And that is only a 100 latinum. Uh, then they have uh, sunglasses for a 10,000 latinum. Floaters. Uh, again, this is the same as the floater vendor. Nothing different here, just the two new ones. Power boards. And these can actually be purchased over at the main area for where the, the power board race starts. But just like the floaters, you have a rental for a thousand. Uh, ECN disappears after 15 minutes. Uh, has a speed rating of 63, a turn rating of 60. Uh, the mini power board, same thing, just a smaller version. Uh, the standard power board is 6375. And again, if you plan on just doing the races, uh, not planning on winning immediately, but just to complete it, just to start building up your supply of uh, favors, then I, again, I recommend doing the, the one of the cheap 50s until you get enough to actually purchase a higher end. Uh, the enhanced is a 68 speed 90 turn. They come in different uh, colors and everything. And then the superiors, which is a 73 speed, 120 turn rating. And then you have the elites, which is the same as this one. So again, if you don't have 1,500 favors, you can get this one. It's going to have the exact same power. So 68, or excuse me, 78 uh, speed, 150 turning. Uh, you have the live long and prosper. Uh, oh, that's a superior, excuse me. The elite is usually your, uh, your faction. So only Federation will only get the United Federation of Planets. Romulan will only get the Romulan. And KDF will only get the KDF. The elite targ, hog. This is, again, this is the Back to the Future uh, movie. This is the board we got for free, and this one was, a, this is the one that Biff had. Uh, notice it's a 78-150, so it's a slightly better, actually, no, it's the same, but it sounds awesome. Trust me, once you hear one that has that deep, do -do 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 -do. then the Impulsives. Are, notice the speed rating is up 88 but the turn rating is 80 these are much faster but do not turn as well again these require superior amounts of control so if you're not a great pilot I stay away from the impulsive uh, definitely the superior or elites is the best way to go though if you really want to win the races the impulsive is almost required and then finally, swimwear. There are a lot. I don't think there was anything new this year. Nope. There is nothing new in swimwear. Uh, there are ver uh, lots of female ones. 
Uh, you can right click and get a preview of what they are. There's a one shoulder for a thousand. The monokimi for a thousand. Uh, sling halter, 500. The mini T, also 500. Uh, the one piece. String bikini. And various others. Uh, most of them, beginning ones are female. You got board shorts. Uh, various types. Uh, let's see. And I got a cu couple of uh, tops. And again, there's a couple of these that are. Uh, I think that, yeah, there's a Federation one. There is one that's only for the Romulans and only one for KDF. Uh, then you got uh, wetsuits. Uh, for uh, uh, the retro, I mentioned this one. This is from the original series, the episode. Uh, I cannot remember. It was the one where they were slaves. It had the the collars. Uh, and so this is available for male and female, for the, for the retro. So that was released two years ago, I think it was. And then you got male and female for the everything else. So there's your customs and they go anywhere from 500 favors up to a thousand. And I've already got string bikini for this character. All right. So that's the store. And again, you have to unlock this for every captain uh, to have access year round. Uh, the store, if I remember right, in the off season, the swimwear is not available. But everything else is so the uh, the event stuff, but not the low buy. I don't think you, these two are available. Yeah, limited time only. So these are only event, uh, available during the event. But everything else is available year round. And actually, you, by unlocking the store, you also have this year round. Uh, the floaters and the boards uh, you can get anytime. But the swimwear is only available, I think, during the event. Alright, uh, before this video gets too long, I'm going to do a quick run of the daily so I can go ahead and start uh, doing my ship. So I've already talked to her, I've already got the mission, and it says activate a floater. Alright, once you activate a floater, it's going to create four courses. These are available on your map. Uh, it. And one here, here, here. Oh, over here. So for me, it would be better if I did this one, this one, and this one. Just because they're close together. Uh, you have ten minutes to complete this. It takes about three. Alright, and here's what you're looking for little arrows pointing. There are lots of badges available here. Uh, matter of fact, uh, I'll be going over that. So I'm using the W key to move forward, space bar to go up. And I'm using my mouse to go left and right. There's one of the badges. Uh, that's the nice thing about these. Uh, is actually, you have Get a lot of the exploration badges just by completing a lot of these. So that's one down. Got two more to go. And actually, once you get the triple and utilize the triple, you get a little bit more handling to your floater. So that's a reason to do the triple. And it doesn't really matter if you go off course. This is this one is not a race. The race utilizes the same mechanics, though. This one is closer. And the scenery here is really nice. Let me look around. This one, and all you have to do is three of the four every 20 hours. Once that's completed, 
There we go. Mission's done. Now I just need to return back to the event coordinator. You can either fly back there. I always find the site to site transporter and just beam to resort. I'll take you right back to the starting spot. And notice the floater stays active, so I'll deactivate it. Come over back to the coordinator. And turn in the mission for my 40 favors. Alright, notice that the mission became available again. Pay very close attention. I did this. It's like, oh, maybe there was a bug and we have to... No. It, you can run this mission every 15 minutes. But notice you just get favors now. After the 20 hours ex expired, and you can look that up under your uh, task force operations, view your cooldown, the summer event. I've got 19 hours, 59 minutes until I can run it again this captain. You can run this on multiple captains if you want to. Uh, there's no incentive to do it unless you have an event from a previous year and you need to complete it. You complete it on one captain and use another captain to do the current year. So this is my first video and for the Ryson event and I will see you next time.